Hi everybody, this is Ages, and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. We are currently doing episode 54. And we need to go do another stone run. I got a little bit carried away with placing down the... The... Yeah, got a little bit distracted there, sorry. I uh, got a little bit carried away by placing the wall. I managed to get some stone back by digging out the section for our next next build project. But we need to go get more stone. So, with that being said, let's grab an empty cart. I should have one here somewhere. Oh, that needs to be leveled out. Like, we still got a little bit of stone left, but obviously we need to go get more. And I need to get a bit more wood as well. But yeah, let me just show you quickly. So, the idea behind this is we're going to create this as stairs. This is going to be like an underground bunker. And then we're going to recreate that same tower we have on the other side. We're going to do it there. But with the underground bunker. Don't quite know how I'm going to work it out just yet. But that is the plan of action. This needs to be repaired. So we need a lot more stone. Like I said, I do have some stone still, but... It'll be more beneficial to go get more. So, into the dark forest we go. I actually think we've got a copper node right here, right? That is where we're going to go. Aha, oh, I'm so strong. I can smash a tree just by running into it. The reason why... Oh, hello. The reason why I'm going for a copper node, other than they give us a lot of stone, like even this will do, but this is connected to the copper node. So we're just going to mine at this node. Uh, where's my wagon gone? Okay. Yeah, we're just going to mine out this, this section of both of these, so let's get at it. Let's first figure out... There's not a better copper node. Not close by, there's one down there. That one's next to the water, so that would be... Mostly, I don't want to destroy the area that much. <laughs> but we'll just take this rock. It's in my way anyway. Like, there's nothing wrong with me destroying the area. But I like how the area looks. And how it feels. I don't know. I'm a. I enjoy a game for its map design and ambience. I 
think that's the right word. The ambience is music. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Big word. So I like games that have fancy... Like, I like to build into the environment. I don't like to destroy the environment. Unless I really have to, of course, but... I try my best not to. Yeah, it's like the same theory as me leaving all those logs behind. I always clean up after myself. I was like, you know, it's just a game. Yeah, no, it's just a game. But I like, I like it, you know? Oh. And that happened. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to dig him out. Let's get out of the water. Okay. Uh, let's go sleep. We'll know more or less where we left the cart. I'm not going to mark the map. Didn't even see that log there. I saw it, but I saw it like as I ran into it. You are wet. No, I'm not. You're wet. Okay, let's repair our tools since we are here. Oh, I'm running out of arrows, I see. Punch on my food. Okay, my car should be somewhere over here. Just above the water line. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Mr. Cart. Oh, there you are. Told you I knew exactly where it was. Okay, how are we looking on... Okay, so we got... Uh, uh, uh. So we've got to come across here. Okay, I don't think we had to go up this way, but we were heading this way. Okay, we are going to mine out all these stones here. Let's take our cart down.
I'm going to do about Cartier. Yeah, he's just lucky, man. Keep smashing at this thing. It's gonna help me. Oh. Uh, one angry troll, buddy. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh, oh. Yeah, I would also be a little bit angry if someone was neck necking me in the nads. But you didn't tell me that's my cart. Oh, my cart's over there. I panicked a little bit, just for a second. Yeah. So you know what I'm going to do, right? You guys really know what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a crafter's bench here. Like boom, like that. Then I'm going to go. Ah, oh, clever game. I don't have enough to make a, a thingy. Game knew exactly what I was planning. I think I, yeah, I need to destroy the wood. Oh, there's the chest. That's probably up there. It's no longer up there. It's now down here. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm loaded. Now I've got quite a bit of stone, but we need much more.
I wish there was an easier way to get iron. You know? Because that's like the one resource that, that I desperately need the most of. Like I can get stone like it's going out of fashion. I can get wood like it's going out of fashion. But I can't get iron. I'm going to need to go on a boat and take a long drive. <coughs> Probably sink the boat with the sea serpent. Okay, so we've got... Need more. I want to try to fill that wagon. Yes, the wagon is full. Job was not successful. Doesn't help them picking up all this extra stuff that's filling up my inventory faster. You know what would be cool? Uh, I know they haven't added it in for a reason, but just for example, like a respawn time on trees and rocks. Like uh, other survival games like Ark or say Conan, for example. X amount of space away from your base. Uh, say like 20 feet or whatever. And then the stuff doesn't respawn. But like if I'm chopping down here in the forest, like the rocks can respawn. I know why they don't do it, because they want us to not like just play on one map. And they want us to explore the entire map. So that's honestly why they do it this way. Because, like me, I haven't really left the starting area. I've left. I'm on the second island. But I've played for a good, uh, say, 30 hours, give or take. And we're still running around, like, on the second island. But that's because, all, all honesty, I'm a boulder. Like I've said before, I'm most at home building the base. I don't mind gathering. I don't mind crafting. But I'm most at home building. So, yeah, it's difficult for someone like me to go out exploring when... My comfort zone is to sit at base. Like, I need a partner that's like, hey, I'd like to go here. Yeah, let's go there. That will drag me away from the base. That's officially what I need. And I do have friends that I play with, except not in this playthrough, on purpose. This is me playing the whole entire game by myself. That's good enough. That, uh, yeah. I need someone that's going to take me out of the base. That's what I need. But I want this playthrough to be by myself, done on YouTube. Everyone can see me doing it. And it's also the reason why I've imposed the no portal rule. Though, to be honest, that's also probably why I haven't left the base yet. <laughs> oh, no momentum.
Because probably if I had a portal, like all over the map, instead of just in this one zone, I'd probably be like, yeah, hey, let's go there, and then I'll just portal back. But I have made this rule. I'm going to stick to this rule. And I am doing it for immersion, immersion point of view. So playing the game properly, basically. Uh, mini hardcore mode, if you want to call it that. Yeah, it's not true hardcore mode, but it's like mini hardcore mode. <laughs> I was just trying to think here quickly. Like, why am I getting stuck? But now we've got a full load of stone. I can't really go around my other base anymore because... I have blocked it off. So the only real way to go up here is this way. But once I'm up, then it's just all downhill from there. Uh, we got this. Work those legs. You don't feel rested no more. Are you seeing what I'm doing? See, it's all down here from here. Run down the hill. Okay, so we're going to take this down the side. Bring the wood over here. Bring the crafting benches back here. So, put that one down. Put it down. There we go. Okay, this one here is the wood one. I'm actually going to rebuild that wood crafter you're going to build it in here just so it's out the way like that okay I will stop this episode here and what we'll do is I'll continue in the next episode in the building. Hey guys, thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one. If you're liking our videos so far,
please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and definitely leave a comment. I'm reading all the comments. Okay, guys, see you later.